I pre-pull a name, and I go to the name that we pulled before. This is our first bucket pool of the night, so essentially we meet these people together. Sometimes they've been on before. We're all going to figure it out together. The whole thing's crazy and improvised. You guys ready for it? Make some noise for Camilo D. Camilo or Camilo D. Um, I think crystal collecting is just rock collecting for bitches. I think tarot cards are just poker night for dumb bitches. I think astrology is stargazing for stupid ass bitches. I don't know if you guys can tell by those jokes, but I'm a virgin. <laughs> At least I consider myself a virgin because I only fuck with white men, women. Because <laughs> I know that as soon as I touch a Latina, she's going to have a litter of five. And I can't jump another border. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, 40 gay seconds from uh, Camilo D. My unbelievable. Make some noise for your next comedian, ZZ, everyone. ZZ, we believe. Okay, come on, one more time for ZZ, everyone. What's up? Okay, is the minute started? Okay. Uh, hi. Uh, I grew up in Iraq. I moved to the US 2017. Um, in my culture, we have a saying, uh, when you want someone to leave and never come back, to throw seven rocks behind them. Rocks. Rocks. Now bombs. Rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, seven, not eight. Seven. So the day when I was moving, I turned to my family and said, demolish the house behind me. Rumor has it they found weapon of mass destructions beneath it. Well, no, this is bullshit. Uh, I just turned 37. <laughs> Why are you fucking laughing? I'm allowed to brag about turning 37. I look fucking fly. <laughs> um, <laughs> My mom wants me to settle down and like find a good guy and marry. She doesn't know I live in Austin. Uh, so. There you go. No, ZZ, I, everybody. I, Jesus I, Christ. No, that's not how it works, ZZ. Nope, so nope, I, I nope, 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 nope. The man is talking, Iraqi woman. <laughs> All right. Got another bucket pull here. Anything can happen. Let's see if a good... Uh, we have, this looks, it seems like the name of a good old American girl, huh? Make some noise for Corinne Aliyah, everybody. Here we go, Corinne Aliyah. Do you guys ever realize that God doesn't answer prayers because he keeps killing all the wrong people? Yeah, I figured that out recently because uh, my dad is still alive. <laughs> yeah, I have daddy issues in case you can't tell. He didn't leave or anything. I just fucking hate that guy. You know, but uh, it's okay. It's okay because he still follows me really close on OnlyFans. Yeah, he'll leave comments under my stuff. He'll be like, I miss you, sweetheart. You have your mother's tits. Please return my calls. Love, Dad. You guys, in case you guys didn't know this, women in comedy aren't actually funny. We're not. <laughs> and it's because we aren't having the shit beat out of us anymore. Like the good old days. You know? At least, at least the Middle East is doing one fucking thing, right? <laughs> Making women funny again. That's it. Thanks. Fuck yeah. Corinne Aaliyah. Pulled another name out of the book. You guys having fun out there? Make some noise for our next bucket pull. Spencer Michael, ladies and gentlemen. Spencer Michael. Here we go. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Spencer Michael. My wife says that I can be emotionally insensitive. Like the other day she calls me up and she goes, honey, I've got some terrible news. Uncle Dave was in a car accident. They had to cut him out. It's really bad. I'm like, oh my God, Uncle Dave, is he okay? She goes, we don't know. 
well, what happened? She goes, we don't know. I'm like, well, how'd you find out? She goes, well, his daughter called us. His, his daughter, babe, my Uncle Dave is gay. He doesn't have a daughter. Oh, do you mean your Uncle Dave? Shit, baby, why didn't you say that? I was worried. Anyway, he's dead now, so it doesn't matter. But, so I can be worried, though. Like, when my mom got breast cancer a few years ago, I was terrified. But um, she ended up being okay. She had a, a double mastectomy, though. And I didn't know this, but part of the process of the reconstruction is they suck out some of that tummy fat, and they pop it up top, create two new boobs. She thought it was cool because she got a boob job and a tummy tuck at the same time. I thought it was cool because now it's not that weird when I check out her tits. It's just her fucking stomach. Thank you, all. All right. Spencer Michael, this is your first time on the show, right? It is, it is. Has anybody ever told you that you look like if someone sucked all of the blood out of Anthony Jeselnik? <laughs> We're going to keep it moving here. Make some noise for your next bucket pool. 60 seconds uninterrupted for Blake Alexander. Make some noise, everybody. Blake Alexander. These people wait all night for this. Make some noise for Blake Alexander. Hey, hey. I appreciate you. Nice to see you. Uh, family dynamics are interesting. Mom and dad are very different creatures. If you really piss mom off, she might ground you or go cry in her room. If you really piss dad off, he might kill the whole family. Um, what Michael Jackson did to those kids is bad. But wouldn't it be so much worse to get molested by some nobody? I don't know about you folks, but I would let Caitlyn Jenner go down on me. I would, for sure. Because then I would have bragging rights for the rest of my life. Like, oh yeah? Well, I got head from one of the Jenner girls. People would be like, really? Which one? Nah, don't worry about it. I appreciate you, thank you folks. There you go, okay, Blake Alexander, solid set. We're flying through him tonight. Another bucket pull, we're flying through them. Make some noise for Samantha Blumenthal, everybody. Samantha Blumenthal. Here we go. Hey guys, uh, I was a rhythmic gymnast for 12 years. Just wanted to show you that. In case anything I say bombs, you still know I'm talented. Thank you. Uh, last night, this guy told me I had resting astrology face. And I don't get it. Guys just think that I just kind of like know everything about zodiac signs and crystals. I don't understand. You know, I don't know things about that, but I do believe in minerals. Mineral fucking dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think this is because of my dad. Uh, when I was growing up, my dad fucked my best friend. Uh, Diana Ray. Yeah, you can look her up on Facebook. She's, uh, she's really fucking hot. Um, I want to be... I want to be really clear. I love my dad. And he's, he's not a pedophile. No, no. It's worse. He's a bar mitzvah DJ. Yeah. Uh, my friends tell me all the time, they're like, Sam, you have daddy issues. I'm like, how do I have daddy issues? I don't even fucking talk to him. Thank you. There you go, Samantha Blumenthal Thanks. doing all of her time. Okay, another, uh, another bucket pull. We're getting through it tonight. Make some noise for Holden DeShazo. Holden DeShazo, or perhaps DeShazo. Yo, what's up? If I look young up here, y'all are all correct. I'm 16. Yeah, yeah. I was born 16 years ago, and I haven't been in pussy since, you know? This isn't my first time doing comedy, though. The first time I did it, it was in front of a crowd of, like, 14, 15 people, which was cool to be doing stand-up, much less in front of the same size crowd as the WNBA playoffs. You know what I mean? My mom actually said she was going to wash my mouth out with soap for, like, saying all these bad words and stuff. Like, I don't know who she thinks she's talking to, you know what I mean? Because I'm Gen Z. 
we did the fucking Tide Pod challenge. You know what I mean? Like, dial soap ain't gonna do shit. That's like giving an opioid addict Tylenol. Like, that shit just doesn't work out. You know what I mean? Actually, speaking of drugs, I did get busted for smoking weed recently. It's weird I got caught, though. I ran out of weed, and I did what any 16-year-old would do. I went into my mom's room, top drawer in her dresser. I busted into her stash of weed. I smoked all of it, and I only got caught when we realized we had the same dealer. And we both left disappointed because my grandma sold all of it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's my time. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. This is unbelievable. You're a very, 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 very funny 16-year-old. That's incredible. All right, last bucket pull of the night. Let's do it. Make some noise for Dave Harriman, everybody. Dave Harriman. What's up, Austin, Texas? Have, have y'all ever smoked crack in a bush? My ex-wife said no more crack in the house. So I found a nice big thorn bush in my neighbor's backyard, and I made it my little crack bush. She tried to bring me out dinner and shit, but you know the crack <laughs> kind of kills the fucking appetite, all right? I do go to AA meetings still, not sober, all right? I do go for the crowd time, all right? I'm just saying you can hit about five meetings a day that gives you about five minutes of sharing time. I'm just saying you knock out some sets, all right? And if you want to double up, you hit a couple of NA meetings while you're at it. Um, I, uh, I'm not gay. I'm just wearing my gay shirt. I'm not gay, but my boyfriend did give me pulmonary edema, which is fluid on the lungs. Okay, ladies? All right. Uh, I, uh, I am a proud EBT. I'm a proud EBT member, okay? I've had my card since 2006. In the seventh of every month, I do hold my EBT card up and I say, hallelujah, another 250. All right, thank y'all. Fuck yeah. yeah. Dave Harriman. Oh, I took him to see Oppenheimer when it came out. <laughs> Oppenheimer, him. And then we got to the theater. I said, hey, Cam, what'd you think of the movie? He said, man, that motherfucker got bitches. I was like, wow. <laughs> what a review of Oppenheimer. He did. Y'all seen the movie? He got bitches. 